strong winds, intense storm surge, prolonged flooding, all ingredients for a dish Puerto Rico is far too familiar with. The island of Puerto Rico lies right in the main development region of the tropical Atlantic and Caribbean. That's where all the tropical waves are moving along most of the hurricane season. In 2017, Hurricane Maria caused widespread destruction, extensive power outages, and significant damage to infrastructure. Maria showed us how both wind and water can be devastating to the island. Fiona, a Category 1 hurricane, made landfall in 2022 and brought more devastation to the islands. There's a lot of rain that has been falling and we still haven't received the strongest of Hurricane Fiona. Maria and Fiona headline a list of more than 30 named storms that have passed within 100 miles of this vulnerable Caribbean island since 1950. Puerto Rico still has a lot of vulnerabilities to tropical storms and hurricanes. Some of that is inherent to the fact that they are in a vulnerable location, but also a mountainous island, which adds to the acceleration of winds due to changes in elevation, and the rain gets squeezed out due to the orographic lifting from the mountains, and then the water, once it falls, rushes down into the lower spots easily, causing rivers to rise and overflow. Over 3 million people call Puerto Rico home and many live in low-lying areas prone to flooding. Many buildings, still not fully reinforced to modern standards, are at high risk of significant damage from future storms. We saw its incredible vulnerability during and after Maria, and for the most part, it has been built back the way it was, not necessarily built back better. So we're still very vulnerable to extensive and long-term power outages in Puerto Rico, and a lot of the structures are not well built to withstand the winds and the power of floods, the power of water. Meaning, another major hurricane could have devastating consequences.